Good morning, I'm Dr. Kathy Nunley. This is gonna be a quick video because it's a rainy day in New England as you can see, but I am heading out to the airport for a very long journey. Today I'm going to Johannesburg, South Africa. South Africa is one of my very favorite places to visit, even though it is a 24 hour plane ride. So I'm getting ready to head out. We're going back down to repeat our conference on insights into intelligence. It's an awesome conference. We're looking at some of the new ways of looking at intelligence and measuring intelligence and what to do about intelligence is obviously psychologists have been studying intelligences for over a hundred years. You can go way back to the way that we used to measure it, then we got into more modern views of intelligence. What is it? Is it creativity? Is it logical thinking? Is it use of language, linguistics? We tried measuring it. Uh, then we had Gardner with all his multiple intelligences and we all understood that people could be intelligent in a variety of ways. But today I like to um, really examine what we call the P-FIT model of intelligence, which has to do with the way that information is processed in the brain. Uh, P-FIT stands for parietal frontal integration theory of intelligence, and that has to do with the way in which the brain picks up, processes information, and does problem solving in general. So regardless of what area you might be intelligent in or, or have our measuring intelligence in, it still comes down to absorbing information, which is processed through the parietal lobes, then it's going to go to the frontal lobe that's going to make sort of a t-chart and evaluate the goods and bads of each decision and then finally goes to the anterior cingulate where a decision is actually made. So I like to look at uh, what I call the efficiency of that network. How fast can somebody acquire, retain, and use information? How efficient are they on that? And so if you think about intelligence as really just an efficiency in the brain on acquisition, retention, and use, I think that's a better model because it's very fluid and we can we can compare different types of intelligences. We can look at somebody like uh, Michael Jordan or Tom Brady versus Albert Einstein. Very intelligent people, but in very different ways. So it, it does have to do with that, that sort of intelligent triarctic um, theory of it. So that's what we're going to focus on in the conference. We're going to look at the three factors that influence that network or the efficiency of that network, which of course are nutrition, stimulation, and internal chemistry. And I'll have more on all three of those topics on a much less rainier day in a future video. In the meantime, if you want to check out my website, brains.org, there's a lot more information there. Until next time, I'm Dr. Kathy Nunley. Have an awesome day.